Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this episode of UP Action Outdoors. Today, heading out ice fishing. First time out on Kewanaw Bay. Your first time. My first time. Avery's been out here a couple times. Ever. No, this ain't my first, first time. ever out here. No, I've been fishing out here before. Oh, he's a total stranger. He doesn't know nothing, so I gotta train him in. No, there's been many times we've been fishing out here together and I've beat you. Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Huh? I didn't hear you. Okay, well, we're out here heading out on Cunot Bay. Whoa. It's only two whack ice right there. There's probably no whack ice right there. Three there. Well, we're going to be after, I'm mainly after Splake today. But we'll see what happens. We're going to get out there and get set up, sput our way out. Make sure it's safe and see if there's some fish. So I guess we'll see you guys out there and we'll put the camera down and pay attention to spudding my way out. clearing inside so we can hopefully see down in the water when the fish are coming up. Once we close up all the windows you'll be able to see a lot better and clear a little more. Well, sorry the filming light's a little dark, but I wanted to get the windows closed up so we can see down in the water. Um, tilt you guys down, you see stuff a little better probably. This is going to be my main rig. It's a little green jig with a treble hook behind it. I'll put a piece of spawn on there, spawn bag. Even got some old. And then I'm going to try this jigging bait from Frostbite, and I'll just use this rod for various jigging spoons and stuff. But We'll see what happens. Get some lines yeah, down. Nice patty. It's like double thick over there as it is here. Huh? It's like double as thick. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. ice is like over here, it's like three inches in an Abraham's corner, it's like an inch and a half. So, <laughs> a little bit weird, but. I think he's trying hey, to do me in. You know, if you open that window, they, you can still see down pretty well. And we'll be able to have better filming light. Alright, we're gonna get some lines in the water and see if we can't get some fish. He's so. set up. And I dropped right down to bottom. As soon as I was just peeling for bottom, I could already ha I already had a fish on. This looks like a nice splake already. So let's see if we can get him up in here. Hey, that's a keeper right off the bat. Yeah, that was nice. Like instant. That's either a splake or a trout. Probably a splake. Here, I'm gonna set this up and drop down. Get a down. measurement on him. I'm pretty sure it's a keeper. You can talk to the camera and show them it here. I'm gonna so, get my bait in the water. Like I said, I dropped right now. I was checking depth, and he was there. Dinner bell. Spoon. This guy is still lively. Nice splake. So sweet. That's like instant. So we might be on him. We might not be. We'll see. He had it as soon as I lifted. But pretty awesome. Just get a quick measurement just to make sure he's legal. You have a tape measure on you? In my bucket, I think I do. He's like a 17 inch or so. Pretty sweet. All right, let's get back to fishing. See if we can't get a couple more. Did you show it to the camera nice? Yeah. Well, I don't know that the light's that good, but I showed it anyway. Gonna 
throw them out the window. There we go. Let's do that again. Deep, deep, deep. The vast, just water everywhere you look down there. Oh, fish on. Seriously? Yep. Abe's hooked up again. That was a suspended fish, so it's just a salmon. There we go. Coho. Coho. Stay here. There we go. Dude, he's got two fish, and I haven't even heard of All right. Line in the water. There's more down there. Nice coho. Where does here, show them to the camera. I gotta get back down after those coho. Nice coho. What color spoon are you using? Soul frost. Bite all the day, bro. Okay. Let's stay quiet so we don't spook them off. There's more suspended, isn't there? Yep. Let's get down there. I don't think I even shut the camera off. Can you see fish? I think I want to see him take it, but. Well, I can see, see like movement by my lure. Nice, keep jigging, he'll hit. Windows, so hopefully, you guys can see a little better. Herring them, um, they want something real small, like a wax worm, is about all. So, that prospect spoon has so much action. I'm gonna set up a rig in case we see herring, then I'll be ready. Don't need pan optics, I just stick my head down and look way off to the side. Got about a 20 foot view all the way around. Whatever's down there right now is not hitting, so. Did you hit bottom before you caught that first spike? The first spike I hit bottom and like I lifted and pfft, he was there. And pfft, he's there. The bait Abram's using, next time you have it up, show it to him. It's a um little dinner bell spoon by Frostbite. And actually the bait I'm rigging up for herring Actually, another frostbite spoon. You'll get anything on that spoon, though. Like this little white one with the little yellow thing that almost looks like a wax worm just dingling there. I'm hoping if a herring school comes through, they'll get triggered on that. So I'm just gonna let this sit here, and if I see herring come through, I'm gonna grab it and run that down. All right, well, everyone's got another take here on his dead stick rod outside. Why don't you just take it if they, what is it on there? Just a single hook for the sucker. Oh, taking suckers? What's eating suckers out here? Spike loves suckers in China. Well, see what's there. all packed up we're just trying a few shallower spots on the way in we didn't get anything we got a few hits on that stuff outside but we didn't get anything after that those ones Abraham caught right off the bat so we're punching up the whole here and see what's here we're probably about 16 foot deep here I 
I like fishing the shallows in Kunal Bay because you can see the fish on bottom. Sometimes even without the fish finder. There's gotta be fish down there unless they're weeds. We off the ice now. Just leaving. Um, it was a pretty nice day out fishing. Not too cold. After Aram got those first two, like instantly, he's dead. Except for the few he missed on the tip up and dead stick. Tell us why you missed those. Um, my bro hadn't told me that I was supposed to use a treble hook. He's just an amateur, so. <laughs> I left my coffee on the roof of the car when I went out fishing, so I coffee when I got back, but it's some cold stuff. He doesn't understand that if you leave your coffee out in the cold for three hours, when you come back for it, it's going to be cold coffee instead of warm. He just, <laughs> he, he, he just figured that out. <laughs> the coffee was cold. He needs a Yeti. No, I'm just Yeti. kidding. He's, he's not quite an amateur, he's just just a little below it. <laughs> I'm as pro as my bro here. No. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, but... You're supposed to tell them what happened and tell them what you're going to do. And tell them they're going to sub subscribe and tell them to leave a comment and... Okay, well, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to tell you to subscribe, leave a comment. Um, what happened was Abram caught two fish and I didn't get any. So, I guess we see you guys next time. Um, tap right down here, or up here, or over here, or over here. Um, How about over here? As long as you tap one right of them. Right over here in the driver's seat, there's hot... Or excuse me, cold coffee. He still hasn't figured out his cold coffee. Tap right over here. All right, well, tap down here to subscribe. Tap up here for my last fishing video, and tap up here for another good video. And we'll see you guys next time.